Now the Texas House is debating a bill critics are calling the Death Star bill, saying it would let the state preempt local rules and laws for things like workplace safety, the environment, and renters' rights. Local leaders urging lawmakers to vote against it. Adam Bennett, live in West Houston. Adam, critics are saying this is a partisan power grab. That's right, Lynn. You may remember in the Star Wars movies, the Death Star could instantly destroy entire planets. Well, critics say this bill would do the same thing to local policies and laws on things like minimum wage, paid time off, and worker safety. But the bill's supporters say it would create consistent regulation to help Texas economy keep growing. Houston and some of the fastest growing cities in the country call Texas home, but some worry the Republican led state legislature could hurt those mostly Democratic run cities success and their right to self govern. These bills are threats to democracy, uh, they're threats uh, to civil rights and human rights. Bishop James Dixon and other community leaders and elected officials publicly condemned House Bill 2127 this morning. It would allow the state to preempt local policies and ordinances in eight sections of the code. It would also let Texans sue officials or governments if they believe they're being improperly regulated. This bill has the potential to hinder local government's ability to respond quickly to hurricanes and industrial fires, and even basic protections like enacting requirements for carbon monoxide detectors are at risk. Critics say a state as large and diverse as Texas shouldn't have one-size-fits-all laws crafted by lawmakers that meet once every two years. In the same way, we don't lecture Lubbock on how to deal with windstorms. Uh, let's keep the part-timers at the Capitol from inserting themselves into how we operate here in the Gulf Coast. Lubbock Republican State Rep Dustin Burroughs wrote HB 2127. We want those small business owners creating new jobs and providing for their families, not trying to navigate a Byzantine array of local regulations that twist and turn every time they cross city limit sign. This afternoon, Democrats in the Republican majority House tried to amend the bill or stall it. It's going to be hard uh, to have any type of legal avenue uh, to challenge uh, a bill like this. And so that's why we're very much calling on Texans to, to stop what's going on right now. Representative Burroughs did tell lawmakers that cities would retain authority in zoning, daycare centers, utilities, parking, and a number of other areas. Meanwhile, if this bill does pass the House, it would then have to go to the Texas Senate to get approval before heading to the governor's desk.